Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Neil and today we're going to talk about whether you are playing the wrong guitar brand or the wrong neck for your hands. Okay guys, so something that often gets overlooked is whether or not we're actually playing the right guitar for ourselves. Guitar playing should be easy, it should never be a struggle, it should never be hard work. So you need to find a guitar that plays easily for yourself to get the best out of your playing and to enjoy playing. Also, you need to find the right guitar to play for yourself because you actually can get injured trying to overstretch things like that with your hand, especially if you're the type of guitarist like me that never warms up. So I'm gonna go over a few things that I've noticed over the years of playing guitar that have made guitar playing a bit easier. There's lots of little things on different guitars by different brands that I've noticed have made guitar playing easier. Please let me point out that this video is mainly aimed at guys with either short fingers or small hands. I have quite small hands for a guy. They don't look it, but they're quite chubby um, around the actual palm of my hand. My fingers are not chubby, but they're quite short, but overall my actual hand span is really, really quite small. If you are the same and you have small boned hands, then you have to be really careful about what guitar you play, not just to prevent injury, but also to make sure that playing is easy for you and is never a chore. Let's start with the first thing that I noticed a hell of a long time ago about a guitar, and I thought, wow, that has made playing much easier. If you have small hands like I do, then you need to limit the amount of stuff that is in your hand, your fretting hand, when you're playing. So basically, that can mean action, string gauge, nut width, fret size, fretboard width, neck depth, neck shape. It's an absolute minefield and finding the perfect guitar is super, super hard. But I'm going to give you some tips here to help you guys with small hands find guitars that are suitable for your small little hands. The first thing I want to talk about then is nut width, okay? I know that playing the guitar with a 42 mil or below nut width is easier for me. The gap between the strings is shorter, so transver transversing <laughs> from one string to another is much easier because there's not as much going on. And again, there's not as much in your hand if you have a narrower nut width. Some guitars start off narrow though and up high again, gets, then get super wide. And then you're gonna get up high and you know, it's gonna be a shock to the system. It's gonna be super hard for you. So we're gonna talk about this. So for the guys that use Floyd Roses, this is a bit more awkward because most Floyd Rose guitars out there actually use 43 millimeter nut widths and that's uh, just a modern standard out there. There are still some guitars that have 42 mil nut widths on there for Floyd Rose, but mainly there you are looking at Schecter guitars, okay? Schecter guitars have um, 42 mil nut width on some Floyd Rose equipped guitars and this is mainly because of the size of their fretboard. We're gonna talk a lot about shit to guitars in this video, and we're also gonna talk about Ibanez guitars, but moving on. So yeah, you want a smaller nut width if you have small fingers, short fingers, or small hands. Let's talk about fret size. It's pretty much standard now, for some reason, to bang XL jumbo frets on just about every guitar going. And the reason for this is because when you're fretting, that people think it's easier, and also when you're bending, obviously, without your fingers touching the fretboard, they slide up and down and glide up and down a bit easier, supposedly. However, I used to have a Gibson Les Paul Studio, and I found that the fretboard fell very quick. The neck didn't, because it was a pretty big neck, but the actual fretboard felt really, really nice, really quick. It had a low action, but it also had medium frets on it, okay? Again, you're limiting the amount of stuff in your hand, and the key to all people who are players with small hands is to get the less amount of stuff in their hand to make them move around easier. People might think that just scraping a mill off the nut and you know, however much, you know, not even a mill off the frets won't make any difference, but trust me, it actually does. I can feel the difference when I'm playing. So let's talk about now neck size and neck dimensions. This is massively important. And I know you guys all buy guitars online now, but trust me, go into the spec sheet, dive into it and look at the measurements and compare them. And you will be able to find a guitar that is suitable for your little hands, okay? Now I've noticed lately having a lot of Schecters on the channel that the Schecter 
thin C neck shit, which is on most sectors now, is absolutely, it's like a, a, it's like a gift, okay? The sectors that I've played, the two behind me, and the GT that was on the channel, which was really noticeable on that guitar, I was much faster on those guitars than on all my others, and I couldn't understand why. They felt faster, and it was to the point that sometimes when I was playing, I thought I was faster than I was, and I was almost running away with myself, and making mistakes because I wasn't quite as fast as I thought because the, the guitars just feel faster. Again, it's a super small neck on the Schecters. Um, so I would advise anyone with small hands, yes, go look at Schecter guitars, try them out with the uh, thin C neck and see how they feel to you because I think that you will get a shock how much easier it is. We're going to talk a bit more about Schecter guitars, but we're going to move on to Ibanez now. Ibanez have a wizard tunic that's like wafer thin. Okay, it's super thin, super easy to play. It feels like there's just nothing in your hand when you're playing. Absolutely love the neck. For me, Ibanez, although I love that neck and I would like to get some Ibanez on the channel, I've not yet played an Ibanez that had good tone. Okay, Ibanez's own pickups that they put in guitars, I don't like them. Okay, um, so I don't really lean towards Ibanez, but to play, they're super fast and super comfortable, you know. Um, so yeah, the Wizard 2 neck on the Ibanez, in my opinion, suits guys like me or you if you're watching this video with small hands or a small reach. We're going to talk about something else now, and it's fretboard width. Now, again, we're going to talk about Schecter guitars and Ibanez guitars, and the reason for that is because the fretboards are not super wide on these guitars. The Schecters in particular are very narrow. If you look at the nut width, and you measure the fretboard width and compare them, there's quite a big difference. And you can feel it when you physically pick up a Schecter. If you've got small hands, if you've got big hands, you, you might struggle actually. You might trip yourself up your fingers. If you've got fat fingers, you might struggle. But if you have small hands, trust me, you will pick up a Schecter and think, wow, there's, there's more room in my hand. You know, there's more room to move. I'm not stretched fully with a big fat neck there. Um, the thin C neck on Schecter is an absolute dream. I call it the broomstick neck. But the reason for that is because fretboards on Schecters are narrow very narrow compared to other guitars and you can feel a big difference. I don't know what the difference is, but it's quite a big one. If you look at say Jackson guitars, they've got quite thin necks. I'd class those as like medium necks. Um, they do differ to Jackson guitar necks per factory and per body shape as well. Um, affects the necks on Jackson's quite a lot. I do like Jackson necks. Obviously I've played them and they feel a bit homely to me because I've played them for so long. But what I will say is they're not the thinnest neck out there. And also, when you get up high on some Jacksons, the fretboards are super wide. So you can feel comfortable down here. Then when you get up high, it gets a bit uncomfy for guys with small hands because the fretboard is wide and flat. Okay? Something else to think about. Ibanez guitars are also well known for having quite narrow fretboards, providing you get the right Ibanez. Um, this, again, with the super thin wafer, a wizard 2 neck and a narrow fretboard, you know, it's going to make playing a lot easier. Like I said, combining all these things, so let's look at them again. Um, a narrow nut width, so 42 mil nut, smaller frets, not extra large frets. You're going to struggle so hard to find a guitar that hasn't got extra large jumbo frets on these days. Um, but if you can come across one, then that again will take the amount of stuff out of your hands. String gauge comes into it. Obviously, the bigger the strings, again, you're putting more size into your hands. The other thing, action is super important, okay? And it's important for everybody. Everybody knows that the lower the action, the faster and easier it is to play, doesn't matter what size your hands are. However, what I will say is that if you have small hands, you will notice this difference even more. So getting a super low action and a nice action on a straight neck is uh, very, very important for us guys too. The other thing is obviously neck size okay now i'd advise you just to look at Schecters and ivanes because for guys with small hands they're just way more comfortable in my opinion than most other guitars you also need to consider up playing up high as well so reaching up high how much access is there up high most neck through super straps have ultra access up high so you don't need to worry about that go for something like that if you look at explorer type guitars they have super good access up high 
some single cuts are carved away like the solo 2 behind me that you can see there the evil twin schecter that's carved away pretty well it's not dead easy up high it's not as easy as a super strap but it's quite easy also you need to look at the neck joint okay you don't want a big old school strap style blocky um neck joint next if you have small hands again it's something else that big block that's going in your hand same with single cuts uh, set necks you know you want to reduce the block up high that's in your hand if you want to get up there and play comfortably and you only have little hands i don't know whether schecter guitars are just designed for guys with small hands or what but every guy that i talked to has got small hands that plays a schecter agrees with what i'm saying that they just feel great for us guys with small hands I guess without plugging brands and favouring brands, what I'm saying here is really check out the specs, the neck dimensions, the nut dimensions, the frets, everything before you buy a guitar online. In the spec sheet, it's all there to see. Compare one guitar to another. And just try and set out to get the least amount of stuff in your hand. So often, we buy guitars, one, how they look. If they look cool as hell and we're going to look cool as hell on stage, let's face it, we're going to lead towards that guitar no matter what. But also, we'll look at things like pickups. You know, what pickups are in that guitar? What, what pickups am I getting for my money there? What wood is the guitar made of? We look at all these things, but quite often the spec sheet, the hard spec sheet, the spec sheet with the measurements in the neck measurements, the nut measurements, the fret size, the fretboard width, you know, the fretboard radius, all these things we ignore, but those things are what will make your guitar easier to play, okay? Hope this video helps you guys out there with dinky hands like myself. If you've found this video at all useful, then please subscribe, or please give me a thumbs up, do something, interact with the video, put a comment below, or whatever. Let me know if you have small hands and you have found a guitar that you can play really easily, and let me know what it is down there in the comments below. I'm going now because I need my breakfast. I've only just woke up and I just picked up a Schecter when I came down. I thought, you know what? I need to make a video about this. See you all soon.